Publius Ovidius Nasu, Amoris Book 1, Episode 6. An corubi quetu est tu asunt teleconia tempe, vix etiam foibo, iam lira tu tasu est? Or is it the case that whatever is anywhere is yours? Are, that's sunt, are the Heliconian slopes yours? Scarcely also is Phoebus now safe in his own lyre. That's a rough translation. Let's look at some of the grammar a little more closely. The first sentence is very easy. Or, is it yours, namely, quodubique? Quodubique has an implicit verb, quod est ubique, what is anywhere, what is everywhere, is it yours? So, quodubique is the subject, the clause est is the verb, and tuum is the predicate. In the next sentence, we have tempe, in the neuter plural and nominative. This is an unusual noun. You ought to look it up. And it has tua and heliconia as modifiers. Heliconia is an adjectival modifier. Tua is a predicate adjective. Are the slopes of Mount Helicon yours as well? If you look on the map of Greece here, you can see the location of Mount Helicon in reference to Parnassus and Mount Kithiron. The, the slopes of Mount Helicon, the valley there, was the traditional home of the Nine Muses. So Ovid is asking whether Cupid claims a general jurisdiction over all poetry, irrespective of meter. Then in the next line, the second line of the couplet, we have weeks etiam, scarcely even. The subject of this line is lira, the verb is est, and then we have tuta and sua as modifiers. Is his own lyre safe, tuta, even for phoebus, phoebo? So phoebo is a masculine singular, and dative, it's an indirect object, we can take it as a dative of possessor. Is Apollo not even allowed to keep his own lyre, or will you claim that also, Cupid? Will you try to take away Apollo's musical instrument? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment.